may bagong lalabas na brand sa Pilipinas. Anong brand yan, sir? At may bago siyang phone, si Wiko T50. Parang katunog ng ano, Wiko. Chinese brand ba yan, sir? Hindi. Uh, actually, mas katunog si Wikopedia. Mm. Wikopedia. Wikopedia. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Gab, ito ay isang French brand. Bagong-bago. Launching soon in the Philippines, si Wiko. Finally, meron tayong European brand na lalabas sa ating bansa. For the first time. Social yun, diba? Para siyang Kate Spade, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Ganun ka social, guys. Bonjour. <laughs> bonjour, bonjour. Merci. Pero yun, ito ay isang malupit na phone. Actually, Gab, for the first time ever, on a phone, merong edgeless display. That's right. Kakaiba ito, Gab. Uh, meron siya 6.6. Full HD+. Plus. Edgeless display. It's actually ito yung pinaka-first na nakita ko na meron gantong klaseng display. Ever, sobrang nipis ng bezels. Parang, ah, wala na talaga sa sides. Meron pa siyang 5,000 mAh of battery. Meron pa siyang 6 gigs of RAM. 128 gigs of internal storage. Meron pa siyang 2 gigahertz octa-core. Pag up sa ML. Core. May core. Kaya tapos sa octa-core. <laughs> yes. Mananalo pa lang. Eight. Parang hindi sila mananalo na. Panalong panalo pa ata. Yung sobra sobra na. <laughs> Magkagawin sila ng buff. Pero guys, octa-core. Meron pa siyang face unlock. Meron pa siyang fingerprint. And meron pa siyang 64MP triple camera setup. Wow. But the best of all, Gab, ito na. Meron na siyang okay Google. Meron siya mga ibang phones, Gab, na hindi okay yung Google nila. Minsan medyo okay. Minsan hindi. Ito okay na. Ewan okay yung ba kasi, hey Siri, hey Microsoft. Ano mo ba? Yeah, Alexa, ganun. Ah, hi Alexa, ganun. Teka, si Google ba ay... Lalaki babae. Kasi si Alexa babae. Feeling ko sa... Si Siri babae. Cortana babae. Si Google ba is... Ano sa... Um, pero ba din yung joke? Medyo... Uy! Bakit? Kaya eh... Joke lang. Katika. Ano yun? Uh, genderless. X, 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 X. Uh, unisex siya. Pero yun, i-check pa natin kung okay to si Wiko. T50. Yan, pasan natin. Pa si Vince. Ako si Gab. And you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, so tandaan nyo yan ha, yung logo na yan, Wiko. Lalabas yan sa ating bansa, sa mga stores. No, pag nakita nyo, Wiko, that's it. The magical phone. The social phone. The Louis Vuitton of smartphones. Oh, nice. Whoop! Wow! Ganda sa yan. Oh! My muzzle, 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 muzzle. My SIM ejector pin? Okay, ayan. Walang laman. May jelly case nakasama. Ganyan po yung tsura ng likod niya. Ito ha. For the first time then ever. Ano yan, sir? Yung kanyang charger. Ah, iba. Kakaiba. At color blue. Fashionable. Like the yes. French. Well, actually, hindi pa ito yung Philippine version. No? So kung ano ba yung makita nyo ngayon, hindi pa ito yung final version. Siyempre, mm -hmm. kailangan nilang i-optimize to para sa Pilipinas. Sino bang may gustong pagkabili na ng phone, kailangan palagi ng adapter. Ah, uh, ano na to? Ano ba unit lang? Of course, meron pa tayong ditong uh, USB Type-C. Cable. Oh, yan dapat, no? Unang labas mo, micro USB agad. And here it is. Wow. That is the phone. Unang-una yung design niya is, uh, as you can see, social din, no? Yes, sir. It does look like a very Kate Spadey. Para siyang Marks and Spencer. Well, actually, ano, uh, it looks very social, no? The back is made out of plastic. This is actually an entry-level phone, no? Yes, it actually looks like a glass back. It looks premium. Elegant. Ito yung tipong kapag ka meron ka, para ka naka French Airlines. Ah. <laughs> Tapos yung body niya, ang ganda ng curved. Very sexy. Very sleek. And there's your logo, Wiko. Or Wiko. Manipis pa yung phone, very sexy. Very light din. Gawa yun na kanyang plastic back and plastic body. Oh by the way, medyo fingerprint mag din yung likod niya. Mas maganda, lagyan nyo ng jelly case. Ayan. At ito po yung kanyang 64MP. AI triple camera setup, 1, 2, 3. Meron siyang 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 2MP macro lens. Ito po yung kanyang LED flash, and that's pretty much it. Sa sides naman, ito yung kanyang buttons and ports. Uy, ang dami. Sa right side, meron siyang power button na may fingerprint scanner. Ito pala yung kanyang fingerprint. Volume rocker ito rin. Sa taas naman, meron siyang microphone. Yung earpiece, hindi po yan speaker. Headphone jack, uy, may headphone jack pa. Kahit sobrang nipis ng phone. At yung kanyang IR blaster ata to. Yes, meron siyang IR blaster for remote controllability. Sa left side, wala. At sa ilalim, yung speaker, USB Type-C port, isa pang microphone, at yung kanyang SIM tray. Na meron dual nano SIM card slot. At wala na for expandability. <laughs> Grabe na. <laughs> well, of course, ito talaga yung kanyang main attraction. Edgeless display. Tingnan nyo naman yun, guys. Wow. Actually, this is the first time I have ever seen 
such a display. That is a 6.6 .6 inch full HD plus edgeless display. The bezels are so so thin. Kala mo talaga <laughs> hindi na siya cellphone guys. Parang all out display na lang. Tinan yung pagkasagad niyan. Sobrang sagad ng kanya content. Ayun o, sobrang dulong dulo na yung mga buttons. It looks so magical to me. That is 94.6% screen to body ratio. Sobrang taas niyan. Actually, yung mga usual na punch hole phones ay nasa 90%, 91%. Ito, 94%. Point six. Wow. And because of that, watching YouTube looks so immersive. And guys, so sobrang sagad ng content. Akala mo content na lang, wala nang display, wala nang phone. What? Well, except dun sa kanyang uh, punch hole. Nandiyan pa rin yun eh. And yung punch hole ay medyo malaki din. Siguro mas maganda kung nilagyan nila sa upper left corner to. But of course, kung hindi mo naman zinoom in yung kanyang video dun sa kanyang YouTube, hindi halata yung kanyang punch hole. Ayun. Wow. News has never been so immersive. Grabe. Wala akong masabi. Sobrang lupit ng itsura niya kapag pinapanood mo. Sobrang ano talaga eh. Sobrang nakakabilib. Promise. And at the same time, naku, ang ganda pa ng color. Sobrang sharp pa sa YouTube. Up to 1440p pa lang kaya niya. And the videos just look so sharp. So convincing. Akala ko AMOLED siya, no? Hindi minention ko AMOLED siya, pero wow! Grabe naman yan! Sobrang ganda ng contrast. Ang sharp-sharp ng itsura ng display. This is a high-quality display, guys. Ang nagpo kasi kung uh, hindi high quality display, maraming mga entry-level phones na sinasabi nila, meron silang HDR, Dolby Vision, 1 billion colors, pero uh, this one really reflects such a good, really good looking display. Actually for me, this is a big deal kasi nga yung display ay number 2 sa aking list. Ang pinaka-importating part ng isang phone kasi nga, well number 1 is battery kasi pag wala kang power, wala rin lahat to. No power means no beautiful display. No fast performance. Of course, syempre kanyang battery ay 5,000 mAh na so no problem with that. Isabay mo pa yung kanyang 40 watt fast charging. Ang sabi ni Wiko, in 10 minutes, meron ka ng 25% na charge. Which is pretty okay. I'm saying this kasi nga, in the year 2022, meron talaga mga phones na sobrang humahrurot sa bilis. But yes, having a 40 watt charger here is still very impressive for the price. Ayun lang, no? hindi siya AMOLED display. So you're not getting the pure whites and pure blacks here. But certainly, it's pretty okay. Kasi nga, the problem with AMOLED din guys, kasi is nagkaroon ng burn-in. So if you don't want the burn-in and you want to retain a beautiful looking, impressively sharp display, meron yan sa Wiko. So kung mahilig ka mag-consume ng content, mahilig ka mag-games, this is gonna be the one for you. One speak of gaming, no? Ito na. Ito po ang intro ni Mobile Legends dito sa phone to. Surprisingly, ang ganda ng graphics ni Mobile Legends dito. The color is just really good. Contrast, saturation wise, talagang nagpapop yung color even though it's IPS LCD. Malaking dagdag talaga yung kanyang immersive edgeless display. Ito na naman, no? Na feel ko parang sobrang lawak ng map. And the playing field is much more wider compared to the usual smartphone. I'm not sure, ha? Parang ang dami mong real estate dito. Parang ang daming space sa gitna. Yung ibang phones kasi parang cramped sa gitna guys, parang cramped yung inyong daliri. Ito talaga guys, parang sobrang spread out. It feels so comfortable and marami kayong pwede makita, especially in the middle of the display. Now when it comes to performance, walang sinabi si Wiko sa kanyang processor. But, nag-research ako no, ito yung kanyang processor. Chine ko sa Antutu. Ang nakalagay dito ay CPU model MediaTek. Helio G85 processor. So, pang gaming pala talaga siya. And that is why, nung paglaro ka ng Mobile Legends dito, parang walang talaga siyang lag. No frame drops. Super smooth pa siya, pero may konting frame drops here and there. Napansin ko yan. Pero kasi, ito ay review unit lang, no? Hindi ko pa sure yung kanyang final form. Alam nyo kasi yan, guys. Review unit is parang ganito lang. Pero yung final form niya, kapag nabili nyo na sa Shopee Lazada, is ibang-iba siya. Kasi wala pa yung mga updates, guys. Parating pa lang. So, baka hindi pati yung final na itsura ng Mobile Legends na makita nyo. Although, meron na siyang high frame rates, no? High graphics. Great out pa po yung kanyang ultra graphics dito. But definitely, this phone can game in Mobile Legends. Kailangan na konting optimization. Yun na naman. Now, with the Helio G85, ito po yung makukuha nyo sa Call of Duty. Medium graphics and high frame rates. Now, in terms of graphics, no? Okay na okay siya. Very playable naman. Dagdag mo pa yung kanyang immersive experience because of that edgeless display. And yes, this is going to be a much more different experience than your usual mid-range smartphone. O, oh, di ba? Ito talaga yung panlaban ni Wiko. Kung yung iba, nagpo-focus talaga na sobra sa kanyang processor, high refresh rate, well this one it's focusing more on practicality and dare I say it, a much more usable display than the usual dewdrop and punch hole display. Ito po ay uh, feeling ko sa sobrang tindi na kanyang screen to body ratio sobrang game changing niya. At ito po sa Genshin Impact, tulad na sinabi ko ito yung final form ni Wiko T50 so just in case nabili nyo to at nagamit nyo na for the first time baka lang optimized na siya you'll get a much much smoother much much better 
gaming experience. Sa camera naman, saktuhan lang for me. Okay lang dito yung color, but not the best I've seen so far. Pero when it comes to people, nako ang ganda ng itsura. Ang pogi mo kapag kinuha na kayo ni Wiko. Wow, this is life-changing photos. Sobrang guapo ko dito. Whoa, check niyo kanyang logo. Wiko. This is probably the best photos I have ever seen on a phone. Kung hindi kayo ganyan mag-selfie, huwag nyo na akong kausapin. Ito po ang bagong way ng pag-selfie guys. So, yun na. Inistart ko na yung bagong trend. So, yung video up to 1080p, 30 frames per second. You can also change from wide angle to ultra wide angle gamit tong icon na to. At meron siyang filters. Hi! This is Vince Domingo and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Hoo-hoo. Meow. Pero nakatakot ito ah. Meow. 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 Pogi mo naman, Gab. Linaw ba yung camera, sir? Yes, super. Sobrang bagay sa'yo. Yan po yung filters natin. Kasama sa apya ng camera. Okay, so that's the Wiko T50. Kamusta naman? Bro, ang sino mo? Hindi ka ba? Ang saling ganda ng ano, ng display. Yun yung nagdala. Tapos social yung dating. So, piling ko bibili ako ngayon. Wow. Well, actually, bro, hindi mo na ka nang bumili kasi meron silang giveaway sa kanilang Facebook wow. page. Yes. Thank you so much, Wiko. Ito na ba yung gagawin nyo? I-follow nyo na sila sa Facebook. Andun po lahat yung mga mechanics. I-follow nyo na sila and follow the instructions. Ano naman? To win the Wiko T50. I think marami sila pinapamigay, no? Marami, sir. Marami daw. That's good. That's good news. What are you waiting for? FB na. Follow. Then balik kayo sa video ko. <laughs> Siyempre, to know the price. Ito pa yung price. 11,990 pesos lang! Whoa. Whoa! Grabe! Last ang pasok ni Wiko. Sana maging available na siya para sa mga tao. More choices, more fun. Parang gusto ko na lumipat kay Wiko. Ne, maraming muna. <laughs> Grabe, kasi first iteration pa na naman, no? For me, marami pa siyang kailangan i-improve. Kasi nga, uh, marami pa siyang uh, kailangan makabilib ng mga tao. Kasi siyempre bago pa lang. Mm -hmm. But for me, right now, ang lakas ng impact sa display pa lang, sa mga specs pa lang niya, panalong panalo na for the price. So, hindi naman siya maganda yung specs, no? Social din siya. Totoo. Kaya bilhin niya na yung Wiko. And, bilhin tayo ng French fries. Yes, French fries, sir. And then naman, if you wanna see more Wiko phones on my channel, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my brand content. Up to Vince. Ako si Gab. Nag-shutdown na yung phone. Kapala. And you're watching Unbox Diaries. Ooh.